what it is. And, and, and I'm grateful today because this doesn't happen every day. This is not something that you can, you can't buy this. Okay. You can't buy this, but I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it right as I always do, because God has blessed me to be able to do it in the magnitude that I am doing it. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dudes, <laughs> and do that. Please put your hands together and welcome my in-studio guest on today. I'm going to do it real smooth. This is my smooth voice. Apostle Camille Matthews. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's enough? Hey! Stop! Oh my good! You know when I when I introduce myself, y'all be like, "Yay!" And that be it. I introduce other folk, y'all be like, "Yay!" God bless you, Apostle Camille Matthews. How are you today? I'm blessed, excited. Blessed and excited. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, you I know am. what? I know my wife is out there looking at you right now, like, "Hey, Tanika, well, it's about time." <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Well, you know, I know that I, you know, I'm going to end up putting, I'm going to try and pull us up here on the double screen here real quick, but check it out. Not long ago, we had my good friend and my brother, Michael Angelo in the studio and boy, oh boy, oh boy, what a time we had. <laughs> Lord help us, Jesus. We were able to go back and I'm just going to say we were able to go back in time and and remember some of the stuff we've been through. Mm -hmm. Today is almost really such a day. I mean, we, we can look at we. Uh, oh, my God. We got some stories. Here. Wait a minute. Let me let, let me loosen up. Let me loosen up the atmosphere a little bit. Remember this. A gentle touch. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling my wife. I was telling my wife the other day, Apostle, I was telling her, I said, I wrote a song. She said, I don't like this song. They were playing, um, I don't know if you remember that song, The Art of Noise, Moments mm -hmm. in Love. Moments in Love. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. And we were, I wrote a song to that. Mm -hmm. And she was like, I don't like that song. I said, I bet you would like it if I sang it to you. <laughs> she looked at you. Should have, you should have saw this. <laughs> And you are responsible, Apostle, for oh, Lord. you are responsible for <laughs> these these pictures that surfacing. OK, <laughs> put, 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 putting oh, on the hits. Come on now. <laughs> you, you know what? But I, I'm not going to go there. Yeah. All I'm going to say is it. We have come through a tremendous journey. Yes. yes and yes. God has flipped the script. He has thrown it up, flipped it, turned it around sliced and diced it and represented it to the people. Mm -hmm. People may not know a lot about who you are. They may not even in fact know a lot about who I am. And I've been doing this for years, literally years. More people remember me when I was on GCI radio in Chicago than what I'm doing right now. And it's not because of the amount of people that's listening. It's because of what I do. Right Now I'm in ministry mm -hmm. before I was just in. Mm -hmm. For those that may not know who Apostle Camille Matthews is, why don't you share a little bit about who you are? And if you'd like to get deep and go into your testimony, the floor is yours. Amen. Yes, I would like to start off with my testimony. Um, the first thing I want to say, thank you for the opportunity Bless you. to be on this here show. Absolutely. And also, I want to thank all my prayer warriors who are praying for me right now, because what normally is easy for some people is not easy for me. Amen. And the reason why is I've suffered from years mm. from a sickness, a hidden sickness that a lot of people didn't know I suffered from, which is labeled as social phobia, a fear of people. Mm. Um, when I was younger, they thought I was just shy. Um, it wasn't until I recently got diagnosed by a doctor what it was because it gets worse as you get older. Mm -hmm. And this is before God called me into the ministry. So... I would struggle with being around a lot of people, especially people I didn't know, and I would have anxiety attacks, so they end up putting me on Xanax just to mm. keep me focused. And when I was in the world dealing with the sickness, I would use alcohol. 
Because when I drank, I got bold. So I wasn't scared, okay? I was crazy. <laughs> Come on, tell it, tell it. I'm going to keep it real. I'm very Amen. transparent. So I was a, a, a person out there. It wasn't Amen. that I was afraid that, oh, somebody going to beat me up. No, I fought all the time because mm-hmm. I spent most of my time, my life, defending myself because people picked on me because right. they thought I was shy. Okay. But that wasn't it. I was bound by the spirit mm-hmm. of fear. Mm-hmm. And I've heard people talk about, you know, God has not given us the spirit of fear fear is a false evidence of something to be real mm. that's one way to describe it but to keep it real pastor fear is a spirit yes it is and we need yes, to deal is. with that spirit so right, once right. i got saved god began to do the deliverance process for okay. me okay. and he began to pour out his love on me which began to deal with that fear right the word of god says love cancels out all fear right. then he had the nerve to tell me i want you to preach the gospel <laughs> i'm like hold up lord I'm comfortable right. sitting right here in my daddy face, getting mm-hmm. fed the word and getting fed on the word Amen. and praying for myself. And I'm good praying right. for my family. I'm good. He said, your blessing is on the outside of Ooh, your comfort zone. Wait. You can't stay in your comfort zone and walk in what God has for you. Cause everything he calls you to do is going to make you uncomfortable. That's right. Why? Because it requires faith. And that's something I did not know how to do. People told me, exercise your faith. Use your faith. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. How do I do that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know I need to exercise it, but how do I exercise my faith? Will somebody please tell me what to do so I can do what God has called me to do? Because right now, I'm shaking, I'm in fear, and I don't want to do it. You know what, though? People will tell you that, and they won't tell you how to exercise your faith. I got the answer for you today. Come on, share with us. It's Come very on. simple. Share with People us. make faith so hard. Mm-hmm. Faith is very easy. Mm-hmm. This is how you exercise your faith. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you an example. Okay. Thank you, Lord. It's already done. Mm. When you praise God, that's one way. When you praise God for the physical manifestation before you see it, you are exercising your faith. Amen. That's Amen. all you have to do. Yeah. Praise God on credit. Hallelujah. Praise God on credit. People make it hard. Religion make it hard, but it's so simple. That's why in Psalms, it's so important that you praise, praise, praise. Mm. And the devil hates your praise because what happens when you begin to praise? First of all, you get God involved. Because he says he dwells in our praise. Yes, he he makes yes, residence. He, he takes residence in our praise. Yes, and when God show up, whatever is binding you has to break loose. Right. Because hell That's breaks right. loose when the praises go up. <laughs> Come on now. So. <laughs> it steals the enemy. <laughs> what also it does, it confuses the enemy. Yes, it does. Why are you praising God when your bills are still due? Why are you praising God when you just got a sick report? How can you praise God? Because I'm exercising my faith. I'm praising him on credit until I see the physical manifestation. Once I see it, I'm on to the next thing. That's right. I don't need to praise for that. I just like, thank you, Lord. Keep it moving. Now for the next thing. But Amen. the devil wants us Amen. to focus on the problem. Yes, he does. Instead of the yes, solution. He does. Yes, he does. God said, put me in remembrance of my word, not your problem. That's right. So That's if, the, right. if the devil is attacking me with sickness, I go before God. I said, Lord, you said by your stripes I'm healed. That's right. You said there's That's healing right. in your wings. Yes. You said I'm healed right now. Yes. Faith is now, not tomorrow. That's there's right. no future That's in right. faith. That's faith right. is right now. Right so now. faith is the evidence, the proof that I am healed right now. So I'm a whole on to that faith. Mm -hmm. I'm not letting the devil take it from me until I see the physical manifestation. Wow. So then, this is is what I've been going through before I even stepped out. So he began to teach me that, Mm -hmm. Pastor, how Mm -hmm. to exercise my faith. He said, it's simple. Just keep praising me. I know it hurts if you're in sickness. I know it looks bad if your bank account is in the negative, but I am God. I did put the sun in the sky. You think I can't put money in your (laughs) bank account? Come on. Do you know who you serve? That's Do you right. know what God you're serving right now? Yeah. I'm not a man that I should lie. Right. This microphone right here is black. That's if right. I say it's red, I just told a lie because I'm human. Right. But if God said it's red, guess what? It got to turn red because God said it. That's right. He cannot yeah. lie. Whatever yeah. he says becomes. Right. So the first thing we need to do is learn to trust that God's word is truth. Because men have let us down, but God said, I'll never Ooh, fail you. Come wait. on, somebody. Yeah. He yeah. said, I will yeah. help you. He said, I called you to the vision. I will make provision. Right. So That's it's a matter right. of trust. That's so right. I said, okay, Lord, I accept the call. If you're going to send me out, then you got to deal with this fear. Amen. 
Amen. I can't do it on my own. Right. And he began to put his love on me. The Bible says love cancels out all fear. That's and right. I began to feel that love that I can't even explain. And it's the reason why all I sing is praise and worship songs Amen. because I know the power when I praise God and when I worship him. I know what happens in the atmosphere. It steals the enemy. And whatever he is trying to do in my life, he uh -huh. has to loose it, loose me, and let it go. Amen. Amen. So now I stand, I, I'm in front of masses of people. That's right. And sometimes, like I shared with you, I just came back from Florida. Mm -hmm. He tries to come back. Uh-huh. Because the word of God said the devil will return. Yeah, he's going to return. If you don't feel, yeah. when you get delivered, if you don't feel that void, he'll return with seven more demons. That's right. That's to right. make it worse. So he tries to test. He don't got no new tricks. Right. No, it's the same Nothing, stuff. Everything's the same. <laughs> it's the same stuff. Just be focused. And right. the Bible says watch and pray. Don't just yeah. pray, but watch because you know he coming. Yeah. He looking to see who he can yeah. destroy. Yeah. But I got down there and I saw, you know, she told me they had 20, million, 20 million viewers. And, of course, immediately that thing tried to jump on me. Yeah. yeah. They prayed for me. And once that light went red on that camera, it's like the lady said, what just happened? Because God said, when I open my mouth, like he's doing right now, he will feel it. That's right. I'm not myself. When I come, it's a, I got a partner. It's me and the Holy Ghost. We That's work right. together as a team. I said, Lord, you ready? Because if you ain't, I ain't either. Yeah. Because I can yeah. do nothing on my own. That's right. So I want to encourage anybody that's struggling with any type. Because we have some stuff that you can't share with everybody. Because right. people right. do judge you. Yeah. And they misjudge you. But God knows your heart. God knows who you are. And the devil do too. So Know that, like you said, you said something. I remember you said something about some targets. The devil was throwing some bullseyes yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, I said, yeah. yeah, what you didn't know, you got an 8 by 10 That's in right. hell. That's right. And That's they be right. pointing at you every That's day. Right. Why? Because you're reaching the world with the gospel. Yep. We got to get him. We got to take him out. Got to take you out. But God said, hey, when you standing on the word of God and you walking in faith, it will draw attacks. Wow. It's amazing. It's amazing, Apostle, that you say that. It's amazing how you just basically transformed approaching fear yes you have just transformed it the way god kind of transformed us mm -hmm. as individuals a lot of people don't understand how to exercise their faith yes i spoke on it this morning mm -hmm. i said faith is like a muscle yes you got to work that thing out yes i mean you got to keep working you mm -hmm. want it to continue you know i ain't talking about go eat no peanut butter <laughs> i need my protein I, I, no 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 work that thing yes. believe that God is who he says he is yes. and he will do the things that he says he's going to do yes. before you even ask him. Yes. When the bills pile up and you ain't got no money in the bank, trust God. Mm -hmm. I mean, I preach about it all the time and you're exactly right, Apostle. People will ask you, well, how do you exercise your faith? Mm -hmm. And you broke that thing down. I will replay this over and over again just to allow it. To be embedded yes. in the hearts of his people. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So you need to hear it and hear it and, and hear it. And keep on hearing it. And that's what people, you know what, because let me tell you a secret. There's no way I would have told any man that I would be standing, sitting, talking, being viewed by thousands of people mm -hmm. talking about God. Amen. Me neither. Uh-uh. <laughs> You, you would have asked me that a few years back. I would have slapped you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just because. But that's how God works. Yes. And when he gives you something, he'll put you in a very uncomfortable position. Yes. yes. Because when I was on GCI, I could have signed the contract and had it made. Mm -hmm. You know what that did for me? It intimidated me mm -hmm. because that's not what I was called to do. Mm -hmm. So it made me say, well, wait a minute. I know that if I jump into this arena. I'd end up in one or two places, mm -hmm. dead or in jail. Mm -hmm. So I had to start praying. Right. And then God kept pushing me into a more uncomfortable scenario. Mm -hmm. But then every time he pushed a little harder, it required more praise. Yes. Yes. For him. Yes. So I just said, okay, if that's what you want, I'm going to do it. Because this time I'm going to just take my chance and I'm going to trust you. Yeah, step out on your faith like Peter did. And and what I love about it is he honored God. It, it says in Hebrews 11 that it's mm, impossible. 11 you know, and 6. Yes, without faith. It is impossible, it's impossible to please. impossible yes. to please God. Then it says in the next chapter in 10, the same uh, Hebrews, <laughs> that he will withdraw himself from those who don't live by faith. God told us so many times, Ooh. the just shall live by faith. We That's are right. the just. That's live right. by faith. That's live right. by faith. Live by faith. Right. So start where you are. My faith may be at another level. Yes. I might be yes. at uh, 50 pounds. 
weight as an illustration. Mm -hmm. You might be, someone else might be at 10, somebody mm -hmm. else might be 20, but mm -hmm. work your faith right where you at. That's right. But I guarantee right. you this, whatever God calls you to do, whether it's starting a, min a mm -hmm. ministry, stepping mm -hmm. out in a new business, marriage, relocating, it's going to require faith. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be uncomfortable because, because God says, if you can do it on your own, what do you need me for? Exactly. See, Come it's on. comfortable That's for right. me to do stuff that I know I That's can right. do. I'm That's comfortable right. with yeah. that. Yeah, I'm good but when that. I'm depending on God, yeah. it's going to yeah. take faith because it's bigger than me. <laughs> right. It's bigger than my bank account. Right. It's bigger than what I can even imagine that I can do. Amen. So I'm Amen. going to have to have faith to do it. But the devil comes to bring fear to stifle us because mm -hmm. he knows the danger that we will do to the kingdom of darkness when we do step out on our faith Amen. whether it's singing Amen. or whatever right. you know and i tell people the bible says he'll come to steal the word immediately mm -hmm. now this is another form of breaking it down even more so mm -hmm. i told you praising god worshiping god mm -hmm. will help you exercise your faith but right. praying right. in your holy language will also build up your faith ah. jude 120 says that we should build ourselves up in our most holy faith by praying in the holy ghost now a lot of people don't don't do that those that are not filled with the evidence of speaking in tongues but i come to the world and i tell them i know what helps me Amen. because Amen. when you're bound the bible says that we become an edifice a house for the anointing yes. so when you begin to yes. pray in tongues, Shandoro yes. in your own time. I'm not talking yes. about right. and prophesying in front of the whole church looking for interpretation. Right. No, right. this right. is between me and God. Amen. It ain't nobody's business what I'm praying for. Right. I'm just gonna pray in tongues because I'm getting ready to step out on something, Lord. I need I need my faith to be a little bit stronger, so I'm gonna pray. And what happens is the anointing begins to empower me and it breaks off anything that's stopping me from stepping out. Wow. Now that anointing which breaks yokes and removes burden is activated in your life Ooh. and you begin to step out and do what God say without fear without fear that's right the that's devil the don't want you to that's pray the right. that's the key so he don't want you to quote the word because right. when you speak the word pastor faith comes that's right that's right soon as you say that's the right. Lord is my shepherd I yep. shall not want yep. faith yep. say up yep. yep. What You're you exactly got to want, right. we yep. got to deal with that that's one. Right. The right. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. What? Yep. There shall be no lack in your life. Because faith is the vehicle. It serves us. That's right. It brings to you the thing you're believing God for. Amen. So when we quote the word, the Bible says faith shows up. Yes. And as soon as faith show up, the enemy shows up to attack your faith. Mm. Not you. That's right. Your faith. Your faith. Because the Bible says we don't fight the devil. He already defeated. Mm -hmm. He's only after our faith. And that's, that's right. the reason why he tells us in Timothy to fight the good fight of mm -hmm. faith. And I'm glad it's a good fight. Yeah. Because if it was a bad fight, that means I lost. That's right. But it's a good fight that's because right. I win in the end. Because I'm more than a conqueror. God has already come. It's a good fight. So the problem with poor people <laughs> is they don't want to fight. Ooh, they, yeah, they want to complain. They want to blame God. Yeah, they want to yeah, blame yeah. the leaders yeah, yeah. because they're under attack. But you're under attack because you're standing on the word and your faith is working. Wor that's right. So if you that's ain't right. under attack, you that's need to right. see if you in faith. That's Hello, right. somebody. That's right. You need to examine and see if you're actually walking out what God has called you to do. Because any man or woman that's standing on the word of God, decreeing the word of God, faith is working and the attack will begin. If that's you our warfare. Are under attack. Yes. Say that again. If, if you, you are, are under, under attack, attack, you can best believe your faith is working. That's right. Because the battle that's doesn't right. start until you begin to exercise your, your faith. faith. That's right. Because that's the only thing in the Bible that the devil comes after is your faith. Okay. Now, I have drawn up a picture of faith. Okay. Mm -hmm. My picture of faith ultimately ended up being... For all, I trust him. Okay. Okay. That's a good way to describe it. Yeah. I want you to paint a picture of faith to the audience. Well, I already gave mine. It's a false evidence of something that appears to be real. It makes right. it. It makes it looks like it's bigger than what it really is. Uh -huh. Now, with the social phobia, Pastor, people will be looking at me and smiling, but I will see other expressions mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. would freak me out mm -hmm. 
Even though they're not like, how you looking at me now? I could see something totally different right. when right. I was suffering with that sickness. Right. Okay. And they'd be okay. like, why is she looking at me like that? Well, I'm like, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> right. You know, I'm ready to fight. <laughs> right. And all they did Amen. was smile. Amen. You know, Amen. I never experienced any of the, the good things, prom and all this other stuff in school. Uh-huh. None of that stuff uh-huh. in high school because I was afraid. afraid. Yeah. And then yeah. when I started working, the first thing God wanted me to do was to trust him for my resources. Mm-hmm. He called me off a job. And put me on a commission paid only job. Now, if you don't, if anybody else out there that's working commission only, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you will learn real Jesus. quickly not to depend on man that's to right. bless you financially. Right. I have learned not to ask men for nothing. Amen. I have learned a scripture that I quote. I said, Lord, I thank you that you are the unfailing, unlimited source of mm. my supply. Amen. And my Amen. financial increases now as the blessing of the Lord overtakes me. That's that right. is my that's confession right. every day. I say it three times a day seven times each i'm not playing because you're my source i depend on you to touch the heart of men and the majority of the blessings when i was living by faith no job he Mm -hmm. didn't let me work a job Mm -hmm. but i'm living by faith god caused men to give into my bosom people that i didn't even know cutting checks the lord told me to bless you lord told me so i know that it can work i know that god will get the resources to you so unto you i say don't worry about the the resources no more your struggling days are over. Amen. I'm speaking prophetically to you right now. Amen. Did you trust God as he began to increase this ministry because it is going to be increreased. Amen. You're Amen. coming up out of this location and you're going into a bigger one. Amen. I'm Don't worry about that. where the money coming from. God That's said, right. I got That's this. Right. He said, I gave That's you the right. vision. I handled the provision. Right. You just thank him for the physical Amen. manifestation. All it's going to take is one millionaire to see your, your ministry and God to touch his heart and say, so this amount in his seat. And that's a wrap. It's going to be over. It's over. It. And you know what? The way we look for God to bless us is always totally different than how he do right. it. Come right. on. Right. You be expecting God to use this <laughs> yeah. direction and God yeah. say, I got this yeah. over here. Over here. Absolutely. You know, so Absolutely. I learned to depend on him Amen. instead of Amen. men because men will let you down. They'll talk to talk, but you know, when it's time to sow a seed, you know, that, that spirit of poverty and running out, of, running out shuts them down. Uh-huh. But when an enemy attacks my finances uh-huh. and I say to the world, I start giving. I said, oh, you messing with my money? I got something for you. I'm finna give somebody. I'm finna bless somebody. I'm blessing my way right up out of this right situation. This this because right, God right, said right. that if I sow a seed, he gonna cause it to come back to me. Press down, shaking together, running over. Me ain't gonna give it to my bosom. That's right. So I'm That's not gonna true. fear giving. It's better to receive than to give. No, nah, it's better to give than to receive. Right. Because if you're able to That's give, right. that means you're always in a position to be a giver. That's a better place to be. It's nothing wrong with receiving sometimes. God had to teach me how to receive because Uh I wouldn't receive. He said, no, you're going to, you blocking their blessing. Mm -hmm. I'm telling them to sow in your life so I can get something done in their life. Right, right. So I had to, I had to get delivered with that. Mm -hmm. So it's good to be a receiver and a giver, but I prefer being the giver. You know, in Corinthians, he tells us that he refuses to do without a cheerful giver. That's right. He need us. That's right. So God is increasing our ministries. Those that are listening, he's increasing your ministries Amen. Amen. because there is work to be done for the kingdom and the kingdom of darkness have been trying to come against us. But I'm telling you right now, fear not like he told Joshua. Oh my oh God. My God. See, we don't, see, I don't make knew. me go there. I already knew. Don't make and, me and, go and there. And I still know because this is, you know what? I anticipated that God was going to show up and show out the minute you got here. Hallelujah. I anticipated. I am telling you, if God is my witness, I could not wait for you to walk in that door <laughs> because I already knew. See, I was talking to my friends. All right, y'all, God bless you. And I'm, I'm going to get back to him. I said, but it's time now mm-hmm. because God does things in his time. Yeah. And it's been a long time coming. Yeah. Just this moment. To invite the spirit, it says where two or more are gathered there, he's yes, in the midst. Yes, he's in the midst. It, he's, he's up in, the in here. Uh, and, and I, I anticipate, I'm, I kid you not, Apostle, I anticipated it because, look at my, look at I, I, oh. I, I, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, because when God has a plan in your life, when he has a plan in your life, all you have to do is activate your faith and be yes. patient. Yes, yes, yes. And let God do what God yes. does. Yes, Hi, Carl. What's going on? <laughs> Who was that? Your sister, <laughs> your new college bound sister. <laughs> Carl was, he was lost. Aww, he was poor Carl. His He's sister like, is gone. Sister gone. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay. All right. So I, I anticipated this apostle and I'm so grateful because I know that God is blessing 
many. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to say that. Okay. Many Thank you. right now. He is blessing many because of his anointing. Amen. And he has blessed you beyond. See, I, I, I look at you now and I think about some of the things that we've been through over the years. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and people, I always hear the term, I don't look like what I've been through. <sighs> Amen to that. I hear that all the time. People can say what they want about me. I don't look like what I've been through. Me neither, man of God. And most people out there has no clue what you've really been through. Yeah. Outside of what you tell them. Amen. Or what they know for themselves. Mm -hmm. Or those that knew us then and know us now. Right. See, they a, a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people just can't even fathom what, what it is that we've been through. Mm -hmm. When I start breaking my story down, I can never finish it. Yeah. I can never complete my testimony. I tried to go out to Gateway one time and share my story. I broke down in the middle of it. Yeah. Because I couldn't it's complete it. It's you know, hard. And, and, and see, so when, 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 you, when I look at you and you look at me, it's easy for you to say, wow. Mm -hmm. Because you know. I remember. What I've been through. Where you came from. Yes. I was, yes, I was there. Oh, my God. And, and this see, whole environment, I was saying, you know, I remember all the struggles with the other radio yes, stations and how you went through yes. all that. And, and now you got your own stuff. Right. And, and God is bringing you out from beside, behind the backside of the mountain. Because I was comfortable. You forward. Mm -hmm. I was comfortable. Yeah, over there. Over there. Mm -hmm. I was comfortable with going into someone else's yes, stuff. Yes, yes. Not trusting God. Yeah. To take me out of that That's comfort right. zone. That's right. And push me. That's right. Just like you spoke of today. Yeah. See, so it's amazing. So don't don't imagine or don't assume that this is a coincidence. Mm -mm. You know, so there's some things that you said you wanted to share with us on today. And I you know what? I am just I am just enjoying myself. You know, I'm just, I kid you not. I do. This is my way of body slamming the devil. It's like Amen. the word of Amen. God says we overcome him with the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. So Amen. I enjoy sharing my testimony. I'm not embarrassed by it. Amen. You know, because I know where I came from be. and where I'm at. Some people right. don't want to say, you know, they, they was born speaking in tongues. Not me. Right. I right. was right. the pits. Right. And, and God, you know, and I suffered many things uh, outside of the other sickness. Let me share the outside sickness I did dealt with. Amen. I had a disease. They called it a, a hypothyroid disease. Mm -hmm. My um, thyroid had stopped working and I had this big garter in my throat. Okay. I gained weight. My skin uh, just looked like I was finna die. It just crackled. The, the side effects of the medicine, the radiation caused all my hair to fall out. Okay. I was completely bald. Okay. My scalp looked like yours. <laughs> you gonna leave my I'm going to talk alone. about yes. <laughs> Amen, amen. And my daughter used to make these stocking caps wigs for me. I gained weight. I was just so outdone. I was depressed. I didn't want to live because right, there was right. no cure. Let them say it. Unless right, they right, 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 cut right, my right. throat and take mm. my thyroid out. And then I would have to live on medication for the rest of my life. And I said, now look, I'm a baby in Christ. And you newborn babies, y'all can speak anything into existence because y'all got that childlike faith. Right, and that's right, what God right. like. And exactly. that's where I was. Exactly. I was walking in that man of God. And I said, look, I took First Peter 2.24. I mm. couldn't even quote the whole scripture. I Woo! said, all I know is by your stripes I am healed. You Amen. said you are bearing my sickness. Bear is a present tense. That means you still bearing it. I'm putting this sickness back on your back. And as many nights I did, for, I did this for maybe almost two years. Uh -huh. I might have cried while I was saying it, but that's what I said. Uh, some of my family members was telling me, go on and let them do the surgery. I said, ain't no knife coming to my throat. God Amen. said I'm healed, Amen. and that's what I'm standing on. And then one day he came to me in a vision. I was asleep, and he, I saw the back of Jesus. He said, yeah, that thing, put it back on my back. And it ain't nothing like what Hollywood show us. But right, I, vi right, I vividly right, saw it. Right, and right. when I got up, man, I got, my throat was healed. There was no Ooh, knots there. Wow. I got on the phone. I called my doctor. I said, the, the big knot is gone. And I mean, it was so huge. All I wore was turtlenecks because mm -hmm. I didn't want to buy seated things right, sticking right, out. Right. And so he told me to come in. He checked me. He was an Indian doctor. I'll never forget. He got angry. Because I said, I want to get up all this medication because I'm healed. And he said, yeah, you, I understand your religion. I said, no, I am healed. Check me out, doc. Amen. Took my blood Amen. pressure, took my vital signs, took my blood, did the blood work. All of a sudden, he came back looking all confused. It's as if you got a brand new thyroid. Wow. I said, I do have a brand new one. Right. 
Right. I got a brand new God totally healed my body. Mm-hmm. I, and then he talked to me. He said, I'm going to restore the years that you lost in that mm-hmm. time of sickness. Meaning he's going to restore my looks back to me, my waist, and grow my hair back out. And here I am. Wow. They said it would never grow back. Yeah. It has. It grows like seaweed. And, you know, people, a lot of times, Apostle, people really don't, they don't want to receive the blessings of the Lord. A lot of times people, I you can, know, some people, will, yeah. they'll, they'll want to see you stuck. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They'll tell you that your testimony is untrue. You know see, what? See, I can relate to that. I got doctor's notice. And honestly, to those who are in doubt that mm-hmm. don't believe, that's their issue, not mine. Yeah, exactly. Because can't nobody exactly. steal from me what that's God has right. done in my life. That's right. And I will continue to tell my testimony. And since God healed my body in 2002, I, it is now 2014, I have not been sick with anything wow. since. I've been walking in divine healing since that day of Amen. healing. Amen. The devil has tried to come. They said, well, it look like you might have cancer. <laughs> I go right up in that prayer closet yes, and say, no, remember yes, this yes, day? Yes, I said, go yes, back, check me out again. Yes. I don't know what happened. It's gone. Even yes. skin cancer. Everything that they try to come <laughs> against me with, God <laughs> shut that thing down. Amen. Well, you know, we, oh my goodness, we got so much we want to talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I tell you what, I'm going to take a quick pause for the cause. I'll be back. I got a song I want to play. And I'm going to play it for you right now. Right here on the number one faith-based motivational and inspirational broadcast network, the GMAP Broadcast Network. I'm Thomas Mack, feeling good, music sounding blessed. And you guys want to see some people was put in the chat room where I'm confused. And they were talking about me. Mm-hmm. Because you keep calling me pastor and they, and they keep hearing me say Thomas Mack. Oh. Conf- no, 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 no. It's good. Okay. Because I like breaking this thing down. Thomas Mack is a name that I carried with me when God right. brought me out of the madness. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to take as many people with me as possible. Mm-hmm. See, a lot of people don't understand that concept of being in major market radio. Mm-hmm. When you're in major market radio, you're involved officially in politics. Yes. I mean, officially. Mm-hmm. You're officially involved in politics. And Thomas Mack came because politically I couldn't use my own name. Right. Just like 90% of the other artists that you hear, unless they sign a contract that allows them to maintain their name, they can't keep it. Right. So they gave me Thomas Mack. And when I left and began to do uh, uh, ministry, you know, media ministry, I said, I'm going to go back to the name Thomas Mack. So people that used to hear me Mm -hmm. would recognize recognize who I am now. Right. Versus the person that I used to be. Exactly. And God has blessed that concept. That's the reason that on the Gospel Mag Attack radio show, I'm Thomas Mack. Okay. And then on Sunday afternoon for Pure Faith Outreach Ministries, I am who God gave me to That's be. That's right. Yeah, you see what I mean? Walk in, so pastor. I break, I, exactly. Mm-hmm. I break that thing down. And a lot of people that used to know me on GCI, they listen to us now. Okay. Because they can relate. So that's why you know, a lot of people don't understand that. But I kind of leave she that. She's calling you pastor. I didn't know you was a pastor. Yeah. A lot of people don't. Yeah. And well. you know what? The, they, they will tell me, I am so blessed by your ministry. That's because of the Jesus in me. Mm-hmm. It exactly. got nothing to do with nothing. No, nothing to do you know, it's yes. just the Jesus in me. And sometimes the only Jesus that some people will see is the Jesus that's in right. me. That's it. See, I can, I can talk all that's, I want. Right. But if I'm not your walking. Lifestyle. The, if I, right. If I'm not living that. Yes. Then it's irrelevant. Yeah. So I am grateful. That's why I kind of still hold on to that. It's okay. You know, and, mm-hmm. and people are like, oh, wow. That's, you know what? I never knew that about you. Good. And what I like about it is that you're humble enough to be allow that to happen because some people will get offended if you, uh, I'm an apostle. I'm pastor. Right, 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 pastor. right, right, right. Hello? <laughs> my name is Camille, and Amen. I'm okay with that. Amen. That's so I tell name. you what, I want you to come back and share some more. Oh, man, this is just good stuff. That's all I can say. <laughs> this is off the chain, and you guys are in for a real treat. Stay close, don't move. I'll be back right after this on the all new GMAP Broadcast Network, the number one faith based motivational and inspirational broadcast network over the internet. We're located at gmap1.com. If you don't know, now you know. Back in a few, right after this on the show. <laughs> <laughs>
glory Manifest your grace Manifest your wisdom in this place Manifest your healing Manifest your power Manifest deliverance in this hour Manifest your glory Manifest your grace Manifest your wisdom in this place